So this is the coffee bean uh, before it has been roasted uh, to be brewed. Uh, let us know which kind of coffee this is. Uh, this kind of coffee is the Arabian coffee uh, from to Yirgachafya region mm -hmm. in southern Ethiopia. Then uh, you prepare to wash the coffee and she will to prepare to the, the claim cater. Mm -hmm. uh, then she will give you some bit of them, the traditional smile, traditional taste. So you're, te you're telling us that the Ethiopian coffee is brewed with a smile and with a lot of heart. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's nice. It's the two types of coffee. coffee. The one is the Ethiopian Arabian coffee mm -hmm. and the Rosta coffee. It's mixed to some the Latin American, the Asian and somewhere. It's only to go to in Ethiopian. It's the Arabian coffee. It's the best and the the typical, the bitter taste of the coffee from the western and southern Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. uh, then this will prepare to the traditional, the case of clan in there. Uh, it's our ceremony to, to drink the coffee. Uh, then for our dust, uh, for our customer, we will give to uh, the welcoming drinks in Ethiopia. Okay, thank you very much. So yeah. take us through how you turn this into the, the burnt coffee beans and into the brewed coffee that we drink uh, on our breakfast or dinner table. Uh, already yeah. taken through the burning process? Yeah, yeah, the burning process. Uh -huh. uh, it was to, it was stoking the, it was stoking the bar or somewhere, mm -hmm. then uh, you have to take the portion of coffee uh, from, uh, to prepare some five up to ten people. Uh, this, the, one and a half or the some coffee uh, then she will roast it to like this the brown one mm -hmm. uh, you like the you look the the coffee color it's brown uh, it's, uh, it's just roasted to the the brown color then she'll blend to the coffee blender mm -hmm. in there on the bar then she'll put in the traditional paper mm -hmm. And the aroma, you can't really smell it, but there's just this beautiful uh, Arabica, you say, yeah. Ethiopian coffee smell that just draws you in from very far. Uh, kindly just put for us, maybe we see the richness of its color uh, in a mug. Okay. Uh, she put to the, the, small, the small cup of the traditional cup. Uh, so I have to taste to, to smell to the aroma and feel to the taste. Okay. Why why is it in this small mug and not a huge mug? Oh, for, for Ethiopian culture, uh, it's prepared to only for for one person uh, to this portion. Uh, so you have to see anywhere mm -hmm. at the rural area, uh, they're made to the this cup. Okay. So it's our culture, it's our tradition. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We are done. The color, the, the, the aroma. Uh, it's
coffee. <laughs> like coffee. This is what I should take in the morning. Yes, I'll have it without sugar. Okay. It has a nice taste. Taste towards yeah. it. Yeah. So Nelly will be taking the coffee with some popcorn on the side. Ooh, and and uh, this has been an, an, an interesting NTV Explains episode from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia with amazing, amazing uh, lady and gentleman this morning uh, joining us to take us through what it means to do uh, Ethiopian Arabica coffee yeah. from the green to the brown up until your small mug. So from here in Ethiopia, I'm Leila Mohammed for NTV Explains. Goodbye.